Malcolm, good morning. Union leaders telling me that this has significant gains and compared to the first contract that was initially voted down by 65% of its members. The vote expected to actually have results by this weekend, we could know. So that put union leaders, when they rejected the vote, back in the hot seat to where they spent the last couple of weeks trying to convince the rank and file to approve this second one. The 40,000 UAT Fiat Chrysler members have been working under a contract extension. They will begin voting today with the results expected by the end of the week. Action News learning this morning many union members are frustrated with wage progressions, and that could pose an issue with the second contract. The big question this morning what happens if this contract is rejected? The reality would put the UAW in a tough position as it has to still work when doing negotiating contracts with General Motors and Ford. And as it relates to negotiations between the UAW and Ford and GM, UAW President Dennis Williams saying both companies are in a much better position financially speaking, so that will allow some of those workers for the uh, General Motors and Ford to uh, have probably even more gains because of their financial sustainability in terms of General Motors and Ford. We're live this morning in Detroit. I'm Mima Shafe, 7 Action News. Back to you.